Hi guys, tonight we're uh, we're talking Hot Wheels, we're talking cool combis. So I was just waiting for a particular parcel to arrive in the post of a uh, a cool combi that I bought online, which was a custom. And that's filled up one of my cases. I can fit 12 cars in each of my cases. So I thought, well, I've got 12 cool combis and I'd run through all of them. Uh, for you guys tonight so you can have a look at my cool combi collection so far so this is the uh the first one tonight this is a really nice cool little uh, uh sort of groovy green color it's got some nice uh wee decals on it sort of surf waves on the side there because obviously this is a bit of a beach uh beach combi uh surfboard sticking out the back there with the back door open you can see the wheelie bars it's a really cool casting, um, very, very nicely done. And uh, I'm not normally into these sort of fantasy or tuned type of cars, but there's just a couple of castings or Hot Wheel do. This one, the um, Surf and Turf, and just a couple of other ones, you know, that are really, really cool. So I thought, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it my mission to get as many as I can. So here's number one in my collection tonight. Beautiful green one, white stripes. It's got some yellow and white sort of waves down the side there and uh, pretty cool wheels on it. And as you can see, all the usual deco that's associated with a cool combi. Number two, <clears throat> this one took me quite a while to get actually. It took me a long time to find. And it's this guy here, which has got like the woody on it. Uh, it's got like woody sides, which is really neat. It's got like a turquoise colour um orange interior obviously as you can see the usual chrome wheelie bar that they have <clears throat> and uh that is a really neat little model that that's that's awesome uh that would be uh, one of my favorites with the white uh, five spoke wheels and that is cool it's just a shame they didn't do the headlights and that on the on the front of this one like they did on that first green one uh, i think the green one i just showed you before was a first edition um, and generally when they do them as a first edition, they generally do them up a little bit more. So anyway, that's uh, that's the second one. Third one is this uh, this guy here. This is pretty cool. It's a cool combi, so it's very cool. And this is a nice metallic blue uh, with some really neat decal on it as well. So uh, dark metallic blue yellow base with a yellow wheelie bar gray interior silvery gray interior with the surfboards and the usual uh five spoke wheels that the cool combi generally doesn't have a lot of wheel variations i've noticed they all seem to be the same type of wheel uh front tampos on this one headlights are done marker lights are done and obviously the uh VW sign in the middle was done, so this is pretty neat. Now the alternate colour to that one, uh, the uh, colour variant for that year is this one. So here's his matching friend, but in a red with a yellow interior and a blue base. As you can see, that's pretty neat. <coughs> Very nice indeed. So uh, again, white wheels and uh, all the usual deco on there so pretty neat right next up we've got a white combi with a blue base and a gray interior this guy right here let's check him out so chrome wheels on this one very similar to the um to the first green one it's got the same kind of uh waves down the side i think it was so uh, might have been surfs up or going surfing or something like that as part of that range but as you can see uh, white uh, sort of flames or or waves with the um with the orange tips on and it's also got the front headlights painted and the marker lights done as well with the vw badge nice blue tints on it to match the tinted blue base and chrome wheels so now the matching uh, or the colour variation for that one, because uh, normally when they release a model, they do two colours, sometimes three per year, is this one here. And that is the, uh, that's the orange one with the turquoise base and the sort of uh, orangey brown interior. 
So same uh, graphic layout, but the flames are obviously white and blue with a bit of yellow and orange on them. And the turquoise base with their nice orange paint. And once again, the headlights are done as are the marker lights. So again, another magnificent little combi. Now the next two, I think, were um, under the Art Cars uh, series that came out in the year. I don't know what years these guys came out, so please excuse me. I'm sure if anybody knows, uh, they'll be able to tell me. I think this one was from a couple of years ago. So it's got a vivid blue interior, orange base, sort of a nice uh, gull grey kind of colour. And as you can see, it's got some peace symbols on the side and lots of sort of um, hearts and sort of uh, kind of hippie, funky, groovy uh, designs. And it's got blue rear wheels and yellow front wheels. So this is one of the few combis that actually had um, a bit of a difference in the wheel variations. Now, no front um, details done, no headlights or marker lights done, obviously, because they've obviously done a bit of a better job with the wheels so that's quite neat. And here's the um, alternative colour for that one. <clears throat> this purple one. And exactly the same um, graphic layout, but a yellow base, red interior, nice metallic purple combi. And um, the main difference is obviously, again, uh, with the art cars, is they always go for different colour wheels. So yellow centres on the wheels on both the front and the back, but red on the back and blue on the front. So that's pretty neat. That's pretty uh, pretty wacky design. And again, no front detailing done. No headlights, no marker lights, no badge. Just a straight paint across those. Now the next two are um, <coughs> a Magnus Walker. Um, and it actually took me quite a while to get the, uh, the second version of this. Not this white one. I actually managed to get a couple of these. Um, they were they were very popular. They started to go for crazy money on the online um, auctions, but I managed to pick this one up from my local toy shop. Uh, standard three dollars, so it wasn't any more than a normal car. Didn't have to pay too much for it. Uh, and that's got the Magnus Walker Urban Outlaw design. Really nice um, combi. This one, uh, pretty plain. No front detailing. No no headlights or marker lights or badge painted separately. Just all part of the base colour, but it's got some nice dark grey wheels under there, gunmetal grey five-spoke wheels. A little bit hard to see in this light, but they are there, and the chrome wheelie bar. Now, the alternate colour for this one was really hard for me to find, and I ended up having to buy it um, off a guy on Facebook, actually. Um, it cost me um, probably too much, but, you know, I wanted it as part of my collection. I never saw this one in the shops um so we don't have a limited sorry we do have a limited supply of stores in my small town and oftentimes they will actually skip cases completely we won't even see them so i didn't see this one and i had to buy it online so the only difference really between the white one obviously is the color same graphic layout same wheel layout and obviously no front um headlights or marker lights done but it's in a sort of a satin kind of satin uh, pastel blue. Pretty cool, pretty cool colour. Pretty neat. And uh, this next one, I believe, I think uh, this this was actually a treasure hunt. Um, this one. This black one was, in fact, a treasure hunt. Um, and it's a surf shop on the side. Uh, it's got some moon eyes on there down the bottom. And a, what, sort of a caramel kind of interior. Chrome wheelie bar, chrome base, uh, black five spokes with the uh, silver rim around the outside and obviously surf shop on it. So that's pretty neat. Um, this is the only one of these I ever saw in the stores. And I think the only thing that bummed me out about this one was the fact that the, uh, the decal on the side has actually got a mark um, just at the back, just in the top right about there you can see there's a little bit of a mark on that decal where it hasn't quite gone through so that was a little bit disappointing but the car itself was obviously brand new and mint so we're happy to have it as part of the collection so that's number 11 and the last one tonight i'm going to show you is one that just arrived today 
and I bought this off a guy online, and this is one that he did as his own custom. And he sold it to me at a very reasonable price. It's got a wheel swap, so it's got some real riders on it, um, some red line real riders with the red line around them. It's got a really cool silver interior, chrome base, and he's painted it in a metallic copper and silver um, stripe. Um, it's very, very nicely painted. Um, the only thing I probably would have done if this was mine is I would have done the headlights and the marker lights with it being a custom. But nice blue glass. He's done a really, really good job with this. This is a great um, little custom combi, and it's my only custom combi that I've got. Um, so that completes my collection of 12 cool combis. I don't have any of the special uh, convention models. We never see them down here. Uh, I believe there is one for sale on our local Trade Me site at the moment, uh, the M&M's one for $900, which is just crazy money. It's been on there for quite a while, and I don't think anybody will be buying that anytime soon. But that's the 12 that I have, guys. I hope you like them. Let me know which one's your favourite. I'm probably leaning towards um, the little turquoise one with the wood on it and possibly this one, obviously being a custom. I'm a, I'm a big fan of it. So we'll just put my two favourites side by side. You guys can get a look at those two as they groove around together. That's a couple of nice combis there. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends. Uh, hit the notifications bell so every time I do a new video you'll be notified of uh, a few more bits of my collection being displayed. Um, and uh, I've got another video coming up soon which will have some surfing turfs which was actually inspired by a guy who subscribed to my channel called Robbie Blazek. And uh, hey Robbie thanks for watching man I really appreciate it and your comments too. And I always watch your channel as well so uh, I'll be doing a surf and turf update I've only got five of those. But I'll do one of those pretty soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Wherever you are out there in YouTube land, have a great night. And we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.